Recently, President Trump announced plans to undo the Department of Labor's fiduciary rule. This rule was intended to protect investors' retirement funds by holding advisors to a fiduciary standard, meaning that the advisor's actions must be in the best interest of the client. Currently, advisors not registered with the SEC may dispense financial advice that is only held to a suitability standard. Often, these advisors are compensated for the advice they provide by earning commissions on the assets they sell to their clients. This is currently allowed as long as they can deem the products suitable in some way, even if the investments are not in the client's best interest. Imagine a car salesman selling an expensive two-seat sports car to a family of five. The salesman, motivated by the high commission, justifies the sports car as suitable because it is technically a mode of transportation. A more optimal solution for the family might be a lower priced minivan, but this would earn the salesman a lower commission. Acting only on a suitability standard, the salesman can sell the family the sports car because he does not need to act in the best interests of the family. Opponents of the fiduciary rule argue that it would limit investors' choice of advisor, but we think it would be crazy to choose an advisor who does not act in the client's best interest. Too often, we see prospective clients' portfolios jam-packed with suitable yet inappropriate investment products that command high commissions for the selling broker. While the fate of the fiduciary rule is unclear, we believe that it would be a positive development for investor welfare. At Nelson Roberts Investment Advisors, we have always held ourselves to a fiduciary standard, and not just for retirement accounts, for all investments. We do not sell products or collect commissions. Our business model has always been to act in the client's best interest in all cases.